Hello, my dear friends. This is part three of biotechnology. I have already taken two parts of biotechnology for you. Now this is the third video tutorial. The lecture on mostly the insertional inactivation and about Bt cotton etc. Bt toxin. These are the solutions of vital topics. This is especially very very useful for class 12 syllabus, class 12 biology and NEET, NEET UG. Now what is an insertional inactivation? In case of insertional inactivation of beta galactosidase gene, the bacteria in white colonies have option A non-recombinant plasmid, option B no plasmid, option C linear foreign DNA and option D is recombinant plasmid. Let's find out the answer. Here in blue-white screening technique is the best that allows rapid detection of recombinant bacterial plasmid in the experiments on cloning. The desired gene being inserted into the TI plasmid means tumor inducing plasmid vector and then transferred into the cells which are competent for transformation. The presence of chromogenic substances X gal gives a blue colored colonies. If they give a blue colored colony then if the plasmid in the bacteria does not bear any foreign DNA. That means they are non recombinant type. So here what happens here? They have asked you the bacteria in white colonies. So we are coming over here whereas the presence of foreign DNA results into insertional inactivation of beta galactosidase and the colonies remain white. Remain white means it contains recombinant plasmid. So this will be the answer. Answer option D. Who proved vector nature of the plasmids? It's A. Chang and N. Cohen. The most common plasmid vector, I hope you all know, that is PBR322. P means plasmid, B means Bolivar, R means Rodrigues. Then the answer for this who developed it is Bolivar and Rodrigues. Why are restriction enzymes so called? Means why are they called restriction enzymes? Why are they indispensable tools for recombinant DNA technology? Actually these are bacterial proteins that cleave the DNA at specific sites along the molecule that means they cleave the foreign DNA thus eliminating the possibility of infecting organisms. Infecting or organisms in the sense you have to remember this a bacterium uses restriction enzymes to protect themselves against their infecting organism means bacteriophages. This was first discovered by Arbor, Smith and Nathans. Then why are they indispensable tools for our DNA technology? The answer for this is these are isolated from bacterial cells as used in the lab laboratories to manipulate the DNA fragments that contain genes. So they are indispensable tools. What is sonication used for? What do you mean by sonication? Sonication means sound, concerned with sound. It's the act of applying sound or ultrasound energy to reduce the length of the DNA. The DNA which may be more than 200 base pairs long. How? By agitating the particles. So coming to next question. Hmm. So this is the question. Characteristics of retroviral vectors. What are the characteristics of retroviral vectors? What do you mean by disarming of viruses? There, these are the characters. They contain RNA as their genetic material. They contain unique gene sequence that can accommodate the foreign DNA. Number three, they contain viral and cellular gene promoters to enhance the expression of foreign DNA in the target cells. And 
their entire genome their genome can be easily altered without affecting their gene carrying ability these are their characteristic features now the process of elimination of viral coding region from the retroviral vectors is called disarming of viruses so this is our answer the next question is what will happen to pcr means if denaturation step is missed out polymerase chain reaction pcr as a result means if the denaturation step is missed out as a result the primers will not be able to combine with the template and hence no extension and amplification of the gene can be can be taking place now our dna technology is recombinant dna technology what are the steps of this technology step number 1 is isolation of dna from the source number 2 is fragmentation of dna by restriction endonuclease number 3 isolation of the desired dna fragments number 4 amplification of the gene of interest step number 5 using dna ligase to join the dna fragments step number 6 transferring the recombinant dna into the host organism step number 7 culturing the host cell in a suitable medium and step number 8 extraction and then downstream processing next question how do the cry genes produce bt toxin bt means bacillus thuringiensis bt toxin why does this toxin not kill the producer prokaryotes means the bacteria produce this detox bt toxin so why don't this toxin kill those bacteria which are their producers these are produced by some strains of bacteria called bacillus thuringiensis which produce insecticidal proteins they kill the insects not the bacteria these are called cry proteins cry means crystal shaped or crystalline form from their genes means the genes which produce these cry proteins are called cry genes the name cry stands for crystal nature which contains chemicals called bt toxin so this is bt toxin this is how it is produced now the toxin this bt toxin does not kill the producer bacteria because these toxin protein exists as inactive protoxins within them within the bacteria when these are eaten by the insects the gut of the insects is alkaline in nature that means they are fluid within the gut is alkaline in nature which activates these protoxins and then these toxins kill them means kill those insects insects of different order next question what do you mean by rna i i means interference the mechanism of silencing the activity of a long double stranded dna molecule by using double stranded rna molecule with the help of transposons is called rna i the ds rna undergoes denaturation and the complementary strands bind to mrna and prevents translation so these are our questions please subscribe and share this video to as many people as possible we will give you a next round of video in within a short time